Hi again, Doug here from X Frames FPV, and this is a much happier video. First one was a troubleshooting video, and this is a we fixed it. So in the first video, I showed you we were getting mad oscillations. We did it without the props on, and it was crazy, crazy oscillations. And with the props on, it was even worse. Well, my my theory was it probably was the flight controller, and um, so I took the this has got a Luminear Lux in it. I took it out, replaced it. Um, they'll come out really in and out really easily because of how they're built with the pads and everything. By the way, flight controller manufacturers, please go to pads. No more of this pins. It it doesn't help anybody. Anybody who can solder a pin on can solder a pad, and the pad is just a much better um, tool to be able or, or format to be able to really mount really well with solder. So that's my two cents and I'm going to stick to it. Um, but anyway, so I pulled that out, put it back in and it flies as, as good as, as, um, we want it to did a little bit of pid tuning and this is going to go out later on today. So, um, really happy about that. Now, one thing, you know, we talked about in the previous video, one of the issues being, um, you know, you got to check the motor. So we thought, I, I told you I had checked the motors to see how they were, how smooth they were operating. And so I'm going to go ahead and kind of move over to a place that I have never shot any video of before, which is my computer, and show you on Clean Flight where you can test your motors and see which one, if any, are having problems. So I will be right back. All right, I'm back here. Move the computer over to where the camera and my mic is because it's a laptop, so it made it a lot easier. So right here, this is where we're going to do our handiwork here. And this is, you know, this is a graph basically a lot like a black box would be. I don't know a lot about black box. I know there's a lot of guys getting a lot of useful information from it. Um, something I want to learn, but my goodness, I just I don't have a lot of time to do it. But um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to come over to this section here and we're going to bring up, we're going to reset it. Okay. And we're going to bring up one of the motors to full throttle and then right back down and let's see what it does. Okay, so see there we've got 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.4, and 0, 0 0.6. So these are new motors. These are um, these are the motors on this X210. So you can see that's giving me a lot of useful information. So let me hang on just a second. Let me plug in one that that the motors are used and not in as good a condition. Um, and I'll show you the difference on on the readout. Okay. You see there on the Z we Z axis we got 0 0.26. So that's same kind of motor SE 2205 and that's what you're going to find. That's still a good motor. Um you know anything up to a you know 1.0 is pushing it. Um but I do know uh there's some people on YouTube that have, um, I was watching, gosh, I don't remember who it was the other day. And they said that they had some RCX motors that were at like 1.2 and, and they had to spend a lot of time tuning it, but they were able to get it to fly decently. So, um, this is a really good way to test your motor. So if you're having problems like I was with the quadcopter oscillating, um, that's the first place to go to. And if your motors are good, then that's, you know, once I realized all the motors are good, okay, it's probably going to be the flight controller. And that's what we did. We changed it and it's all good. So hope you guys are getting something out of these videos again. Um, that's really about it for this one. Check out my website, xframesfpv.com. Um, like and subscribe and comment. And um, I hope you guys get some time to fly today because that's why we all do what we do, right? Thanks.